I came up with a new segment, y'all. It's called Cut the Shit. Yeah, Cut the Shit is when I point out things that make me want to say cut the shit. For instance, Boy Scouts agreed to pay $850 million to settle abuse claims. We're talking tens of thousands of people who said they were sexually abused by Scout leaders and members over decades. In an interview on Friday, Kenneth Rothweiler, the lawyer who represents the largest group of claimants, about 16,800 16, claimants, which are parents and families and kids who say they were abused in the Boy Scouts. This is the largest settlement of child sex abuse in United States history. Not the Catholic priests, the Boy Scouts. Kenneth said you can expect the total to run into the billions. Billions in payouts from insurance companies and organizations that have sponsored the Boy Scouts. Cut the shit. I'm not saying the sponsors knew, but I'm saying, come on, guys. Come on, man. We got grown-ass men that want to be around little-ass boys. Anytime grown-ass men want to be around little-ass boys for far too long without structure in the woods by themselves, you need to have heavy monitoring of what's going on and an open-door policy to report on this shit. Cut the shit. Don't act like you didn't know something was going on. One of the things I detest are the system trying to protect itself and then telling us, don't believe your damn eyes. You know, we believe our damn eyes. We weren't born yesterday. Cut the shit. Pay the checks. No, cut the shit. Cut the check. Next. I don't know if you guys know this person. That's the black guy I keep having to hear about because he had he he gets his rocks off talking to clan members and trying to convince them that black people are people. Yeah, this guy, I forget his name. What's his name? Well, anyway, New York Times, he wrote this article. This guy, Nicholas, wrote this article about Daryl Davis. That's his name. I'm not saying what Daryl Davis is doing isn't nice. It's nice. It's also some cool shit. Hey, Daryl, cut the shit. You walking around talking to a handful of hateful ass racists and convincing them that black people are human beings ain't going to really move the needle. Our problem in America is structural racism. You getting a, uh, an attaboy from a good old boy ain't going to change our situation or the way they treat the homeboys. Get what I'm saying? We talk about systemic problems in healthcare, environmental justice, mass incarceration, criminal justice, and everything in between. So miss me with the bullshit. What they're doing, Daryl, is using your goofy ass to not give us reparations and to pretend that the, race, the racism is about one-offs with local yokels not accepting black people. Well, that ain't what the fight is, man. The fight is systemic racism and fight for reparations. I don't give a fuck if people love me or care about me or like me. What I care about is justice and getting my just claim. The question is, did he get people to lead the claim? No, that's not the question. That's a, that's a question that's very, 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 very low down the totem pole. And it's a distraction. It, lets, it, gives, it gives white people the impression, oh, see, all the problem is we got a few bad apples. You understand what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying here? I'm not sure you get where I'm coming from. See, it would be a lot more beneficial if the story that I keep seeing was not people bringing on this black guy that goes talks to one-offs with white guys who think black people ain't shit or subhuman. That's not the win. Now, what would be more of a win, but still not where I want to go, would be black Klan members, I mean white, I'm sorry, <laughs> Klan members or white supremacists who have, instead of being white supremacists, have gone on to use their power, their considerable power, their, their cousins, their families, their networks to do things like to help black farmers who are dispropor disproportionately being disenfranchised in this country. You understand what I'm saying? So this guy's in the fucking way. He's in the way, and it's for his own self-benefit. It's, it's for his own self-aggrandizement where he, look at me, I help whitey. I help white people. Look at me, I'm a great guy. I see past, I get these white people to see past race. That ain't enough, man. And, it's, and, and, and even if we want to say on, on, a moral, on a moral capacity, this is a, a, a noble thing to do. I will say yes, it is a noble thing to do, as is to walk an old lady across the street to help an old man with his stalled 
engine uh, to mow a grass to pick up a lawn to, to, to cut a, your neighbor's lawn. Like these are, like, these are, these happen every day. But the focus on it. I mean, how many times people are going to write an article about this guy? As if this is what we need to do. Like this is solving the racial problem in America. No, um, cut the check. Stop trying to get around cutting the fucking check. Stop trying to get around the, 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 the health disparities. Stop trying to get around the lack of employment, the lack of income. Stop trying to get around the generational, the generational debt. Okay? Let's stop trying to get around the real issue here. Shout out to the Race Reset at Actify Press. Oh, cut the shit. Next. Oh, I had a clip for this, but fuck it. <laughs> Megan McCain is leaving The View. Megan McCain is leaving The View, and uh, I saw a little segment I was going to play where Megan and Whoopi and Joy and other lady... Uh, Sonny, yes, it and Sonny, they were all talking like they were all friendly, and all of a sudden it was like, oh, the shit we went through was just Megan playing a conservative, playing to be pretending to be an asshole, you know, because that was her job to be the asshole, and she got paid to pretend to be an asshole and cut the shit. I'm sorry, Megan, you were way too good at pretending to be an asshole, not to be an asshole. Some things, some things are just what they are. You were comfortable in your wheelhouse, lady. You were an asshole, jumping on anything black, whether it was Colin Kaepernick, Black Lives Matter, and anything else that resembled, that started with B, you had a problem with it. Including Barack. Yeah. So, cut the shit. Just because you're leaving now, you want to come back to the regular world and pretend that what you've been doing the last six, seven, eight years, I don't know how long it's been, was just a figment of our imagination and some clever, some clever marketing scheme. Well, that shit ain't going to fly. You chose to do that job. You stuck doing that job. We're going to see you always as a person that done that job. And if you didn't have your dad, if your dad wasn't John McCain, you never would have got that job. So cut the shit. Let me ask you something. Do they know us? When I say they, I mean the talking heads on cable news. Do they know you? I mean, they talk about the world as if it's a sport. They play political games, report on our pain, rack our brain to feed the stock exchange, but do they know us? Do they know what we care about? Nope. They're too far away. They can't see us. They can't feel us. They can't relate to us. See, when you want to know what's going on in your world, trust someone who lives in your world. Subscribe.